So I'm James Mansfield, I'm with Team Australia as the User Experience Advocate. And I'm Yanni Walk and I'm doing the graphic design for the website. So you guys, you guys have been <laughs> in this for about five and a half hours-ish. Um, have you figured out what your objectives are for your client? Yeah, I think we've got a clear idea of what the objectives are. We, um, we spent a fair bit of time, probably in hindsight, maybe a bit too much time talking through what the objectives are and asking them a lot of questions. We, we spent close to doing a good job. <laughs> we spent close to about two and a half to three hours, kind of eliciting stuff from them, which um, was probably a little bit longer. But I feel like we've got a really clear sense of who their target audience is. We've established that 90% um, of the site should be dedicated to. So it's we've got Hearing Hearing Dogs Australia, which. They um, train dogs for hearing impaired people to, to go and live in their home and help them. You know, when people knock at the door, so the dog alerts them that there's somebody at the door, or the telephone, etc. So we've established that 90% of the site should be dedicated to um, getting potential dog owners, so those with hearing impairments, telling them about what's involved and how they go about applying for and getting a dog. So I think that's we've got a really clear and good sense of that. Um, and then there's, a, there's a couple of other secondary kind of audiences, so existing dog owners, as well as donators and sponsors and people who want to partner. So I think we've got a really good sense of those priorities and what kind of information we, we can, that those people will want, so. Well, this morning you said you wanted to spend two to three hours figuring out exactly what the client wants, so that sounds like you are kind of on track. Um, the biggest challenge so far or what would be a challenge in terms of design? across any of you? So I'd say our biggest challenge so far is we're kind of trying to jump ahead a bit too much in stuff. Like we, we, we're going down into small details early. I felt like that was we need to kind of pull back out and look a bit broader to begin with. And I guess being a lot of people and all wanting to know certain things, a lot of us are kind of asking the client very specific things. So I felt like we're, it was a bit of a a bit of a um, a bit disjointed to begin with, but I feel like we've really now got into it. We, we've kind of hit our straps. The developers have, have set up a framework and, and a wireframe and the layout for, for a page. Um, Yanni's started working on a visual style for the home page and content, Rob on the home page. Content, she's already kind of putting pages in. And we've got a, a high level architecture and um, we've just finished creating a wireframe for the for the home page, we just literally finalised that before we, we came out, so mm -hmm. I feel like that's all yeah, progressing well. So while we're on the topic of visuals, could you tell us a bit about um, the visual, specifically how um, you have to approach the, the specific audience that you have, and how does that influence yeah, the visuals well, you make? Um, well, we're working with um, hearing dogs, so it, and it's also people, so it's the combining of the two, and so like, um, yeah, just uh, working trying to provoke them, sorry, to convey them as professional working dogs. They're not kind of cuddly, kitsy things, so making sure that their target audience, the people who view it, aren't thinking, oh, these are just nice dogs that I might put on the end of my bed and pat and stuff like that. These are actual dogs at work and they're not for decoration. So, um, just being the client provides a lot of dog photos, which is good. Yeah, so we're probably, yeah. You've yeah, got a, it's a lot of nice images, they've got, they've yeah. got a lot of strong imagery, so it's, it's a really good... And, for us. and we'll probably mix it up a little bit with photographic and maybe a bit of um, illustration as well, just to bring across the human aspect, just so it's kind of got that more friendly feel as well, but still professional, so. Yeah. Good. Um, so how do you think your team's progressing, you know, in the long scheme of things, you're five and a half hours in, you've got, you know, to go, are you, are you on track, are you still working together well, is there any, no fights broken out? Uh, we're on track, <laughs> we're definitely going <laughs> that way. <laughs> Yeah, we, I, think we're, I think we're pretty much on track. I feel like we've, we've got a really good sense of the important things and we've just kind of said, that's it, we're going to do that now and, and go with that. So I feel like for where we're at, if you had asked me an hour ago, I would have said it would have been far more uncomfortable, but I think now we're pretty, we're pretty comfortable about it. We've got a clear direction, we've got a consensus on it, and we're going with it. So, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy with where we're at. Yeah. And I'm pretty happy the client's really, really engaged as well. Yeah. Um, and... Really open, yeah. She's she's very articulate and very involved and very knowledgeable. So, you know, I think we've got a lot going for us at the moment. <laughs> We're quietly quietly confident, but not complacent. No scandals to speak of. Um, maybe the big monitor. <laughs> yeah, no scandals. Yeah, we. we
What's happened to the big monitor of Windows? Big magnifying glass. Okay. It's ready for World Cup if you just want to watch it. It's not really a scandal, but we had um, obviously they want to raise money, the organisation, um, but one of the managers who's not here and part of it is a, is a bit uncomfortable about um, taking people's credit card details or having a way for them to give money. So we've kind of generally pushed the client to, to see if we can do that. She was like, well, no, don't really want that. To, he won't want that to happen, but managed to convince him. She, we've made some calls and we're, we're looking at being able to implement that. And we think that's something that's quite important. So we, we're a bit passionate about and kind of pushed a bit hard to, to get that. So I guess that's the only, the only thing that I would say on that that's been kind of the, the standout thing. Cool, thank you for taking some time to talk to us and good luck. Well, right, thanks. thanks.